Wherever rivers run wild, energy abounds free for the taking. For as long as mankind has existed, this energy has enlivened our spirits, enlightened our minds, and inspired our artistic expression. Rivers have quenched our thirst, fed our families, and carried us away on great adventures. In one century, we have seen this energy captured, tainted, and silenced on most of the rivers in our nation. On average, we have built one dam a day, every day, since the signing of the Declaration of Independence. 40% of Americans' rivers are too polluted for fishing, swimming, or aquatic life. Rivers have become the new frontier of waterfront housing development, and yet there are still people who still come to know rivers the old way, by floating down them, eating and drinking from them, or simply sitting by them in contemplation. These people know that wild rivers still exist, and that the wilderness inherent in all rivers is both eternal and resilient. Perhaps the most passionate of these people are the ones who spend their lives paddling the most energetic rivers. Whitewater paddlers traverse almost every headwater stream in the nation every year. Their trips are filled with moments both awesome and intimate, inspiring and humbling. Bonds are formed with places and friends. The river becomes family. Paddlers formed American Whitewater in 1954 to bring the paddling community together and quickly embraced river stewardship as a central mission. They shot films of wilderness rivers to earn congressional protection. They opposed the rampant practice of building new dams. They showed others how to get to know rivers, become a strong part of the fledging environmental movement. Today, American Whitewater remains a national nonprofit organization dedicated to river stewardship. The organization is made up of nine professional staff, diverse board members, 100 affiliate clubs, and hundreds of volunteers, 7,000 members, and a community of paddlers numbering over 100,000. Within the paddling community, AW is synonymous with river advocacy. AW has restored dozens of rivers that have been dominated and decimated by hydropower dams. AW has brought balance back to these long monopolized rivers, resulting in protection of hundreds of thousands of acres, restoration of dynamic flow regimes, and the creation of new river access areas. Rivers all over the country have gone from a dry, tree-filled ditch at risk of development to a thriving and protected river supporting fish, wildlife, recreation, and the local community. The leading edge of these efforts is on the Pacific Northwest's Great Salmon Rivers and their tributaries. AW has joined forces with like-minded river and backcountry enthusiasts to become a major player in federal land and water management. Through AW, paddlers have a loud voice in Washington, D.C. on legislative and regulatory threats and opportunities. AW has supported wilderness, wild, and scenic, and world designations, and used these federal programs to protect our last wild rivers. AW has supported the Clean Water Act, sound forest planning, and a level playing field for dam licensing. Recently, AW has begun working on the complex issue of water allocation in Colorado. As demand for fresh water increases, the paddling community is quickly becoming a lead advocate for keeping water and rivers where it belongs. For a host of other issues, AW provides professional assistance to paddlers seeking to protect and restore their river, whatever the challenge. American Whitewater is a community of paddlers that know about rivers, care about rivers, and speak for rivers. They believe that progress that sacrifices rivers is not progress at all, and share a vision of healthy rivers supporting healthy communities. Be a part of the community by becoming a member of American Whitewater, using the AmericanWhitewater.org website for activism ideas, offer to volunteer, and most importantly, speak for your river. Oh,